Sunset Hunt. Good help. When they've finished their sausage rolls, sandwiches and stirrup cups, they'll ride out and chase and kill a fox. Oh, thank you, thank you. Cheers. But soon if they kill a fox, they'll be going to jail. <laughs> and here are the Devon and Somerset stag hounds. and riding in the countryside and jumping in the countryside and going out with dogs in the countryside if they wish. They don't have to have something ripped to pieces at the end of it. Jack Waters has been on, which happens to be cut the right shape so that you can sit on horse with it. He turned a circle and came back in. Jack Waters is fascinated by the battle between the bloodlust of the pack and the cunning of the fox. Here is the camp. <laughs> now you need to look away if you don't want to see animals being killed. It's basically where people make a sport out of chasing an animal uphill and down dale for their own entertainment before they kill it using a pack of dogs. Douglas Batchelor doesn't think there can be any compromise with the hunters. You can't half hunt, uh, you can't be slightly pregnant, you, you can't be slightly cruel within the law. You're either cruel or you're not, you're either hunting or you're not. Man is allowed to go on his own round the countryside. There's going to be some bloody awful things going on. You mean shooting foxes? And... Shooting, digging them out, trapping them, and they won't waste a bullet on them. The hounds, stag hounds or fox hounds like this pack are both the villains of the piece The huntsman knows every hound, knows whether that hound is reliable or whether it barks at anything. Subhuman might be a bit strong, but the feelings are strong, and certainly people in the countryside think that the people in the city... ...of hunting in the country, as there is within the urban areas. And, and this isn't me, just um, the people who write to me, the opinion polls, and, and the various other expressions of public sentiment. So it's a nonsense, and it's misleading nonsense, to suggest this is town versus country. ...this killing machine. In fact, it can look fairly chaotic. Lost hounds, people going in different directions, even a lost hunt master. But clearly everyone is having a good time, huntsmen and hunt followers alike. Come the ban, the good times will be over. roofs and a church. But there is one big difference, say the locals about this village and the others like it. And that is that they depend on... A lot of people say they'll go to jail rather than obey it. Most hunting people are law-abiding people. They've got jobs that require them not having a criminal record. It's so ridiculous to be making basically a quarter of a million people criminals overnight for doing something they've done for, for years. No compromise from Parliament or the League Against Cruel Sports. Come next year, more than 180 hunts will have to find something else to do. Jack Waters doesn't know what he'll do. It would mean that I would be like the rest of society in this country where there wouldn't be a sense of community. The whole of life would take on the aspect of a commuter village then. It would be uh, just a collection of houses. Will it be just a collection of people and no community? I will only ever be happy when we've been able to eliminate all cruelty to animals, so I doubt that I'm ever going to be a happy man. But all I can say is that when we've got rid of fox hunting, then uh, John Peel is going to have to find something else to do with his horn in the morning. <laughs>